I said, I've got this new camcorder. It does. It's got this mode. It's 300 frames per second. Wow, this high-speed video mode. And it's it's not full HD. It can't do full HD at that. In fact, uh, it does. Uh, you know. 500 by 340 or something like that, but still pretty good, 300 frames per second. And uh, as I found out, I can only record a maximum of 10 seconds worth, but hey, that's pretty cool. I thought, what can I film with this? I know, let's blow some shit up. Okay, so blow up what? Well, there's nothing better in electronics than to blow up some capacitors. I love capacitors, they're great. You don't have to do much to these things to make them explode catastrophically or, or catch on fire. So I thought I'd just take a couple of caps. I didn't do a big exhaustive thing, but I just took uh, three caps. I took a uh, old uh, dipped tantalum capacitor because they're notorious for catching on fire and things like that. So I thought I'd, I'd get one of them. I thought I'd get a standard, um, well, an old um, uh, RB electrolytic capacitor in a can without, hey, without the vent uh, thing on the end. Oh, is that going to focus? Oh, come on, new camera. Focus. Uh, I don't know. I haven't figured out how to use this thing. Anyway, I thought I'd blow up a non-vented electrolytic capacitor and an axial one as well. Uh, so let's have a look what happened. Now, here's the first one. This is an axial electrolytic capacitor, and it's a 10-volt type. So I hooked it up backwards to a 15-volt supply. Not much. I didn't overload it by much. And look at it go. It, uh, this wasn't um, catastrophic by any means, but uh, it did actually uh, leak all its electrolyte. The pressure built up inside, and it went poof. And it all, all the electrolytes just spewed out one end. So that wasn't very impressive, but hey, it's pretty cool. Now, the next one is one of these old style dipped tantalum capacitors. And it's a 10 microfarad, 10 volt unit. Once again, I hooked it up backwards to 15 volts. You don't have to overload these things much at all. And this is what happened. And the third and most spectacular I tried, I didn't, oh, I, I got three out of three with these things. I got a 470 microfarad, uh, 10 volt RB electro cam without the uh, vent hole, without the vent holes in the top or the vent cuts on them, I've mentioned before. And once again, 15 volts reverse bias. And this is what happened. It's pretty spectacular. Check it out. Whoa, that was one hell of a blast. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see what we've got here. There's like owl foil on the ground everywhere. I saw it like shoot like 50 feet up into the air. Absolutely crazy. And let's have a look at what's left here. Not much. Not much at all. You can see the base of it. I'm outside at the moment, look at all the paper, that's just, ugh, all the paper's just left over, check it out, terrible, there's, and there's some alfoil, there's some more alfoil, and if we have a look over here, whoop, and yep, there's some more alfoil, check it out, wow, that's really something. That shot like 50 feet into the air. Wow, that was really something. Now let's have a look at that again, frame by frame, and you can see the pressure. Here it is, you can see the pressure building up inside. This is one frame at a time, and then you can see where it goes from just about to launch off the base of it, and then you have this bright light and bang! 
the explosion happens. And so 300 frames per second really isn't fast enough to capture this sort of event. You've probably got to have, you know, 1,000 or 2,000 frames per second, sec per second to capture an explosion like this. Now, kiddies, if you're going to try this at home, be very careful. These things are damn dangerous. They will actually take your hand clean off, although, you know, they're, they're as dangerous as bullets, these things. And you don't have to abuse them much for this to actually happen. Now, the magic voltage for these electrolytic capacitors reverse is about one volt. If you stay under that, the pressure won't build up inside. But if you go over about a volt or a volt and a half is the magic number, then pressure will build up inside these things due to internal self-heating in the, um, uh, the electrolyte material inside will actually uh, vaporize, turn to steam, pressure will build up, and eventually these things will either leak or explode. They're generally not designed to explode these days with the vent holes in the top, but anyway, they're worth playing with.